Glad to have you back. Now, there are so many conflicts around the world and the issues boil down to the lack of tolerance on many fronts. Mm. Well, today is the International Day for Tolerance and joining us to commemorate this is uh, Brahma Kumari Mira. Uh, she is Sister Brahma Kumari Mira. She has been practicing meditation or mediation for more than 50 years. Mm -hmm. She started sometime in 1968. Mm -hmm. and she has been in the, in the business of peace and tolerance across the world. Yeah. And uh, we have her in the studio this morning. Sister Mira, good morning. Good Glad morning. Nice to, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. It's good to know you are in Nigeria and for the first time yes. to push the issue of peace and tolerance. Yes. Yes. Now, make us understand, you've been practicing this for the past 50 years. If you have to make comparison between when you started and now, are people a little more tolerant or less tolerant? What, what, how do you rate that? Uh, I, I think they're less tolerant, less to tolerant. be honest. Mm. Because I think 50 years ago, there was a little bit better tolerance. Okay. Mm. And now because of the situation, conflicts and differences, and so I think uh, there's more intolerance we can see very practically. So what, what are the factors exactly. really that <laughs> make people become intolerant? Because of, uh, you know, divisions, conflicts, misunderstanding, miscommunication. And most important reason I find is uh, lack of self-esteem, mm. mm. ego. Mm. Mm. So it's more of a pride thing. But a, a lot of people would say that the issues of ethnicity or even religion or even racism across the world could also lead to this. How does this compound the issue? Yeah, I, I think what you say is correct, right. you know. Uh, too many religions, too many races, and uh, too many uh, sects around. So that also creates a lot of difference in opinions and uh, people cannot stand. <laughs> So that's why I always define tolerance is the ability, the willingness to be able to disagree or mm -hmm. uh, approve while accepting people as they are. Mm. Mm. Well, then we understand that uh, it's like a tool yeah. somehow. Yeah. The protocols, the end product is intolerance, but there are some factors that have become like tools in the hands of the powerful few in any society that they use to you know, divide and rule the people for them to benefit. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah, correct. So yeah. How, can you, how can that be addressed in order for peace to be entrenched in such so society? So I think what is important from my experience is equality. You know, mm. when, when we have that feeling of equality and brotherly vision, so having the feeling that, you know, everybody has right to say what they want to say, but you may agree or disagree, doesn't mm. matter, but at least allow them to speak and accept them as they are, mm. so that I am able to make people feel comfortable with me. Because my feeling is that if I can listen to someone, and tolerate them, tomorrow they will be able to tolerate you. <laughs> you know? Yes. So we see this in our daily life every day. You know, because of intolerance, there are so many um, violent actions and so much of peacelessness, even in the family. You know, people cannot even tolerate, um, like, uh, you know, you want to experience peace in your mind and then other person want to experience peace with uh, loud music. Mm. Mm. So let him allow, <laughs> allow him to experience peace in sound and you can be at peace with yourself. And that's why in simple language, I define tolerance as uh, living happily with a noisy neighbor. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well put. All right, now over the years, uh, the, a day has been set aside as International yeah. uh, World Tolerance Day. What has been the impact of a day like this? It's to create the awareness okay. because I think it's important to create the awareness in the people that it is important for us to bring tolerance into our life if we want to coexist and peacefully. Mm. It's a value in a way. Actually, tolerance can be a power. It can be a virtue. But living in a multinational, multiracial country, it can be a value. Okay. It is to remind people that we should have coexistence in the society okay. uh, while having differences, disagreement, but we don't need to fight and have conflict. Mm -hmm. We can let each one be as they are. Okay. So what but should are, be but are people, okay. sorry, but, but are people more aware now 
I because think because if we if we have set aside a day to commemorate this to create awareness, mm. uh, would you say people are more aware now? Uh, it's coming. It's okay. coming uh, since the United Nations. I think since nineteen. 95 or something, I can't remember the exact year, okay. since they started, uh, the awareness is coming, and especially on this day when mm. we are talking about it, we again remind people, you know, it's important okay. to okay. have tolerance, but together with tolerance, we need to also have patience. Okay. Okay. So okay. What, what should be the actionable focus, really, this year, so that we don't come back next year to discuss the same thing, to commemorate the day without any uh, tangible success recorded? I think the, the aim for this year is that uh, understanding each other better and then allowing each one to be as they are while working together as a family, you know? So that uh, more love, more peace prevails, mm. you know, instead of peacelessness and violence. Mm. Okay. All right, for, for, for every individual, because you, you, you have uh, said that everyone can be tolerant and, and patient, yeah. mm. but if we put an individual in focus, what are the things you have to consider? What are the maybe exercise or anything you, not, you need to do by yourself to be able to tolerate other people? Because I, I feel that this comes from the inside, not from someone else. Yeah, definitely. Mm. I think the first step is to have a positive attitude look into the speciality of that mm -hmm. person, what best they can do, mm. you know, apart from seeing the weaknesses. Right. And secondly, increase my own self-respect, self-esteem, uh, self so that I am able to avoid ego, because ego becomes a great barrier mm. that, that creates expectations, and then when my expectations is not fulfilled, I become intolerant. So, in, uh, in essence, we should find inner peace. Yes. And let it exude. Yes. All right, thank you very much. Sister Brahma Nira, director of over 50 meditation centers in Malaysia. Thank you very much. And you've been living what you are preaching. You've been yes. practicing for 50 years. Thank you for joining thank us. Thank you so peace much and for having me with you. Thank you so much for coming, good. Sister Mira. Have a good thank day. You. you too. Right. Thank you.